Christmas. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. It'll be the defending NBA champion, Golden State Warriors and the Chicago Bulls. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Thompson and Durant fill out the perimeter. Down low, it's Green and Cousins. And it's Curry in at the one spot. Now here's Jordan. Stolen by Durant. Here's the break. Here's Curry. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. I think you pay the consequences. If you leave Draymond Green's teammates open, he has a knack for getting the basketball where it needs to be. Curry against Harper. Tipped away. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Curry against Harper. Up top, Curry. He kicks it to Durant. Shoots over Pippen, and good as it just snugs right down through the net. Well, Kevin Durant's form, his release point, everything about his stroke is really impeccable. The drive by Jordan. Here's Longley. Nice D from Durant. I don't think the defense is much of a factor there. He just botches the finish. Shot from 12, and another basket for Golden State. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Bulls still looking like they're getting going. Eight-point game. Jordan against Thompson. Jordan kicks to Rodman. Back to Jordan. Over Green. Just five on the clock. And Jordan drains the fadeaway. And as much as he's done to increase the range on his jump shot, this is where Jordan's bread is buttered, that mid-range game. Here's Durant. That shot missing. Now Chicago takes it the other way. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. Jordan, the pass to Harper. Back to Jordan. Durant against Pippen, and there's the feed to Rodman. It's Durant on the wing. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And it's six points for Kevin Durant. Bulls trail by eight. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Yeah, it looked like they tried to shoot their way out of the slump, and that didn't work. They, they got to go back and regroup. Yeah, maybe a new approach because what they're doing is not working. You're going to have to alter some things on the offensive end. Curry with the steal. One on one here. There's the basket and make it a double digit lead. Curry's got his second basket. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Jordan against Thompson. Shoots. Jordan's shot is off. And here's Golden State. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And defensively, this is a nightmare. He's already on a roll. But Greg, the defense better start to disrupt his rhythm, or it's going to be an awfully long night for them. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Pippen. Jordan trying to free himself up. And Scotty Pippen, the bucket on the assist by Harper. Pippen's got to back down to within single digits for the Bulls. Got a piece of it. Curry with it. Here's Harper. Buries it down low. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Warriors leading by six. 
Curry on the wing. He's guarded by Harper. Passes to Pippen. Down low. Here's Longley. Good on the shot. Longley's got his first pass. Well, this here is a game. Good run to close the gap. Yeah, they ramped up their intensity, forced good things to happen, and now they're right back in it. Now, here's Green. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Well, he does a lot of his work on the interior, more than people realize. Clay Thompson gets those calls because of his willingness to put himself in tough spots. The Warriors shooting their first free throws of this game. And up around 82% as a team a season ago. So they know how to make the most of those opportunities. Here's Jordan over Green. Kept alive. Here's Longley. Count it. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They lead by four. Pass to Curry. Here's the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Curry's got seven points. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Thompson against Jordan. Outside, Rodman. Pippen dishes to Rodman. Six on the shot clock. Back to Pippen. Over Durant. Warriors with the rebound. Boy, the mid-range becomes slightly more difficult when the defense is as active as they are there. Sinks the three-pointer. Seven points for Klay Thompson. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Chicago calls timeout. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, I caught up with Coach Steve Kerr told me they'll be looking to stretch the defense with their ability to knock down shots from deep. He said success on the outside will translate to success on the inside. Sounds like instead of going inside out, they're going to go outside in. Interesting. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. Always want to get those threes falling consistently. Well, listen, there's no one around him, and he says thank you very much. Wide open look at three, as easy as that. And Cousins kicks to Curry. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Inside. Here's Longley. And finished off by Longley. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Now, here's Thompson. Seven points in the game. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Harper kicks to Rodman. Longley against Cousins. Jordan up top. Rodman passes to Pippen. And he uses the glass on the layup. Pippen's got seven. And Pippen there driving hard inside. Has the height and athleticism to consistently get it done in the paint. They double-team Curry. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And here are the Warriors now. Green finds Curry. Back to Green. Clock at six. Here's Cousins. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Yeah, and his inside game is about as good as it gets. Cousins loves operating out of that low block, and there isn't much any opposing defense can do to stop him. Harper against Kerr. From 13, and misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, it's not the defense that caused that miss. That one's all on him. It's Durant on the wing, guarded by Pippen. And it's Golden State with another. Ooh, with a player this hot, I don't see their lead going anywhere. Harper kicks to Rodman. Jordan against Thompson. Pass to Longley. Outside Pippen. The pass to Longley. 
And it's Curry with the rebound. And stolen by Jordan. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Here's Harper. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Great D that time from Green. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Cousins has got three assists now in this one. And when you build a big lead like this, especially early, you have to guard against the letdown. No, exactly right. You can't afford to get complacent, right? They have to stay hungry and humble if they want to keep this lead. And no one has better natural scoring tools. But, but another thing that really sets MJ apart, the acute instincts he brings to the table. And then Cousins with the dunk. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Passes it to Rodman. Curry against Harper. Back to Rodman. Outside Pippen. Here's Harper. His three-pointers off the mark. Hey, we're not seeing the best quarter by this guy, and he's lost his feel a little bit. Pippen with the steal. The shot from 20 feet away, and he makes that one. Pippen's got nine. 157 left to play in the first quarter. Curry kicks to Cousins. Tipped away. Now here's Curry. Seven points in the game. Five on the clock to the middle. And Cousins throws it down. Uh, you you got to love the intensity. Cousins going right for the throat and just jamming that one home. Pippen against Durant. Pippen kicks to Rodman. Back to Pippen. To the paint. A second chance effort. Rodman shot is off. Boy, the defense collapsing and throwing him off balance on his way to the cup. And the wide open shot from Green. Misses the three. Bulls trail by 12. Outside Harper. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three second violation. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Rodman. Kukoc, he's checked in for Jordan. And Kerr subbed in for Ron Harper. Different look here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Draymond Green. Igudala comes in for Kevin Durant. John Livingston, he's checked in for Thompson. And Cook subbed in for Curry. And from the opening tip, they have been in complete control of this one. Yeah, you know, it looks like they've wanted it more. Outstanding hustle and determination throughout. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock, and Cousins throws it down. Oh, why dunk you very much. <laughs> he, can, he can really fly, and you combine that great with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Now here's Pippen, 11 points in the game. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the first. For the three. Not going to go that time. Oh, great job on the closeout, providing a lot of good D on the perimeter. Well, that's just superb. And so it's the Golden State Warriors sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. Their transition game has been in full effect. We come back right after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, we've seen the Warriors really take control here. Uh, listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. I think their play calling has been exceptional. They've played with purpose and they've played with aggressiveness. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Taking a look at the Bulls. Simpkins is out there with Bill Wennington. Then it's Kukoc. Then there's Bushler. And it's Kerr in at the guard position. Iguodala at his best. A terrific drive. Gets to the rim with ease. 
Now here's Kirk. He's guarded closely. Takes the three. That's good. And the Warrior leaders get down to 11 on the bucket from Bushler. I'll tell you, that's nice work, right? You move, you get into space on the perimeter, and you knock down the three. Igudala kicks to Livingston. Thirteen feet away, and no good. And in Chicago, the other way. Pass to Bushley. Here is Kerr. He's covered by Livingston. Pass to Bushler. Igudala against Kukoc. The pass to Wennington. A steal. Here is Cook. Defended by Kerr. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Now here's Livingston. Defense right on him. Shot clock at six. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Yeah, that's a surprising miss, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time. Outside, Kukoc. Pass to Bushler. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. The Trey. Another three for Chicago. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Draymond Green is a former Defensive Player of the Year, and he remembers his motivation. They said I fell in the draft because what position would I guard? I'll never forget that. I'm comfortable guarding any position. When I'm playing against big guys, I battle even harder. You have to prove a point. I won't be a pushover. Kevin? Yeah, he never backs down. Thanks, David. Chicago calls timeout. And hey guys, you know, you never run out of things that you can improve upon. I think, Greg, it's important to keep that hunger, right? You're always striving to get better and to change things up. Kukoc and the Bulls tack on two more. Yeah, really found his stroke here in the second quarter after missing everything in the first. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Now, here's Livingston. Not a lot of room. Shot clock at six. Here's Cook. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Cook's got his second bucket of the game to go. And that kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. Here's Bushler. He's covered by Livingston. Pass to Bushler. Outside, Kukoc. And Iguodala comes to help. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the Bulls now. Who coach against Zugudal? Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, the Warriors pull it in. They've led by as many as 14 points. Livingston looking for the opening. Shoots from 12. The shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And the whistle blow is going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul. Kicks to Kerr. Pass to Kukoc. Six to shoot. A three ball. Iguodala stays in front of his man, uses his length and big hands to annoy whoever he's defending. Now the pass to Simpkins. To the inside. Kicks it out to Kerr. Tries again. Rebounded by Urebko. Gets it to very close range, but there was no way the defense going to back off and give him that layup. 
Livingston, that's good. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Kerr, the pass to Wennington. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Cook kicks to Livingston. Here is Cook, defended by Kerr. Here is Cook. From deep. Kukoc grabs the miss. Yeah, yeah, and even with his range, that one might be asking a little too much. Yeah, that zip code might extend beyond his range. My goodness, let's take a better shot next time. Passes to Bush. With the fadeaway. No good on the shot. So Golden State will take it the other way. Two coach against Zugudal. And it's blocked. Here's Bushel. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Some changes for Chicago. Rodman comes in for Simpkins. And Michael Jordan subbed in for Bushel. Kevin Durant's checked in for Golden State. Curry comes in for Quinn Cook. Jordan. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Jordan's got eight points. And what you like there, Jordan never looks like he's rushing. Makes quick, solid decisions. Curry against Curry. They double-team Curry. To the paint. And Iguodala with the basket, the assist by Curry. Curry's got three assists now in this one. Andre Iguodala has got the ability and the frame and the game to score in close. Nicely done. Outside, Kukos. He kicks it to Jordan. Back to Kukos. Hits the target from 18 feet. Kukos has got nine points in the quarter. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Curry is inside, defended by Curry. And the basket by Curry. Well, this is why so much defensive attention is directed at Steph Curry, but he's still clever at finding the holes he needs to create opportunities. Two coach pass to Curry. Kicks it to Rodman. Back to Curry. Shoots from the elbow, and he gets that one to go off the front iron. 11 points in the game. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Curry against Curry. Curry attacking. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Listen, he's been a key component of their offense tonight. Efficient and effective. Durant against Kukoc to the inside. Warriors with the rebound. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Durant and another basket for Golden State. Well, Kevin Durant can just hurt you in so many different ways. He's almost unguardable when he's pulling that jump shot. Inside, it's stolen by Jerebko. Iguodala outside. Has to Curry. Outside Durant. Back to Curry. Over Kerr. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Curry's got the lead up to 14 now for the Warriors. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. Wennington passes to Jordan. Now here's Kerr. He's covered by Iguodala. And Steve Kerr, true from outside. And doing a much better job from three-point range than they were in the first. It's going to help them chip away at that lead. Back to Curry. Five to shoot. Pulls it up. Chicago grabs the miss. 
Rodman's got five rebounds tonight. To the middle. Kukoc kicks to Jordan. Really left alone that time. Jordan's got four points now in the quarter. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. So for the Bulls, Longley's checked in for Winnington. Pippen comes in for Kukoc, and it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. Then for the Warriors, DeMarcus Cousins. He's checked in for Kavon Looney. Raymond Green comes in for Yurepka. And Thompson in for Andre Iguodala. And stolen by Jordan. Here's Pippen. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Green finds Durant over Pippen. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Boy, KD's so good with that up fake. He knows once he's got his man in the air, all he's got to do is jump into him and create the foul shots. One forty-six left in the first half of basketball. Outside Harper. Outside Rodman. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. And defensively, great anticipation making a play there on the ball. Well, superb awareness, Greg, right? Not allowing them to get comfortable running their offense, being super aggressive. A shot by Jordan, no good. Warriors leading by 10. To the middle. Green in the post. Rodman on him. 116 left in the second quarter. Harper against Green. Yes, that goes in. A physical basketball there, and in the best sense. A hard screen allows him to shake the defender and get to the bucket for the layup. Knocks it loose. Cousins, the pass to Curry. Pass to Durant. Shot clock at five. To the middle. Here's Cousins. And then Cousins with the dunk. Well, Durant, such a tough cover in the pick and roll. He will take what the defense gives him. In that instance, nice pass. Durant against Pippen. Outside Jordan. Outside Harper. From past the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Harper's got five. And here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here we go. One on one. Here's Jordan and the dunk by Jordan. And, and Harper, hard to get around. A physical defender, he'll use that athleticism and reach to pester scores. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the goal. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everyone. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He had 16 points, three assists, and one rebound. First two quarters from him were fun to watch. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Great half from Steph Curry. He may be. And that'll. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Curry has been sensational. And they haven't needed a lot of shots to get their points. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. Now, I think you can look to specifically the patience and the shot creation. Really solid effort. And Golden State looking at who they've got. And it's all five all-stars out there for the Warriors. Curry, Clay, Durant, Green, and Cousins. And Jordan drains the fadeaway. You know, he had room to operate, but added a little fade on that shot just for good measure. On the wing, Thompson. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got four assists in the game. Bulls trail by nine. Harper kicks to Jordan. 
inside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. They get Stephen Curry. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. Warriors leading by nine. Curry finds Cousins. And that's collected by Longley. And here are the Bulls now. Outside Jordan. Now the pass to Pippen. Back to Jordan. Three-pointer. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. And wasn't really a long-distance shooter in college. Jordan really worked on his range ever since being drafted. And the basket by Curry. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. Harper the pass to Pippen. Rodman with the ball. Now Green defending. Rodman kicks to Jordan. Shoots over Cousins. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down now to just six. And the basket from Michael Jordan. Marvelous starts the second half. Three for three. Thompson against Jordan. Back to Thompson. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. I'll tell you guys, the explosiveness. Once Clay Thompson finds his rhythm, mm -mm, look out. Harper kicks to Pippen. Jordan inside. He's covered by Thompson. And stolen by Cousins. From about 16. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Time, out, time, out. time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, he has got to be the only thing they're discussing in this huddle because the approach they've used on him has been a disaster. Changes need to be made. I don't know if it's a double team switching matchups, but something's got to be done. Stolen by Durant. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play, and Green gets it to go. Draymond Green will pick his spots on the interior. He can read a defense, and he understands when to attack. Get there, get there. Outside Pippen. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Durant for the finish. And then Durant with the jam. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. Feeds it to Rodman. Green with the block. Draymond Green twice on the pipe sends it right back to the shooter. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. No question he got bumped on that shot. Bulls have missed both of their free throws tonight. 0 for 2 so far. Both free throws good from Longley. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Cousins. The wide open look for Durant. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Cousins has got five assists in the game. Jordan against Thompson. Jordan the pass to Pippen. To the inside. Longley. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Longley's got 10 points. I'll tell you, it takes fantastic vision and flawless timing to produce an assist like that. And stolen by Jordan. Let's it go from 14. That's tipped, but they get it there. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Simpkins, he's checked in for Chicago. Kerr comes in for Ron Harper. And the Warriors also making a change. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Curry. Down low, here's Cousins. Good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. Uh, this is what every opponent dreads when they're facing Cousins, a game where he is playing with full emotion. Kerr kicks to Pippen. Thompson against Jordan. Simpkins 
And the rejection by Cousins. Yeah, and you got to be careful with Cousins around. His shot blocking can be a factor. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, it is the era of positionless basketball, but how exactly did we get here? Well, new defensive rules at the turn of the century encouraged face-up scoring, motion-based offense, and guard play over isolation and post-ups. As a result, offensive roles have become more interchangeable. It has become a, a positionless game now. David, thank you very much. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Wennington, he's checked in for Rodman. And it's Kukoc in for Scottie Pippen. Well, it's the size that Livingston presents at the point guard spot that's so unique. This guy is terrific, finding the open man. Jordan against Thompson. Step back and squared up. And it's now 23 points for Jordan. Dominating this quarter. He's been absolutely fantastic shooting the ball, and they still trail. Down low, here's Cousins. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Cousins has got the lead up to 14 now for the Warriors. Now, here's Kerr. He's covered by Livingston. Wennington passes to Jordan. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Kukoc and the rejection by Iguodala. Boy, the suffocating defense of Andre Iguodala is so important to his team. Really good job timing the shot there. And really the story of the half. One team shooting it lights out. The other, the lights are just out. Yeah, that's right. You said it. They don't find a way to switch it back on. They're in trouble. Wennington passes to Kerr. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Jordan. That shot, no good. Good D by Thompson. And so Cousins will bring it up for Golden State. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Jordan double clutches in mid-flight. And what you see with Jordan, running full speed, but always in complete control. Now Livingston passes it to Green. Kicks it out to Iguodala. Rebound by the Bulls. Boy, with that much space around him, maybe he's better off attacking the basket than settling for the jumper. Here's Jordan. The baseline J. Another one falls for Chicago. And there are nights it really doesn't matter what you do defensively. MJ is going to score, and this is looking like one of those nights. Knock loose. It's Thompson off the drive, and it's Thompson with the jam. And ran his man straight into the screen and, and got a clear path to the bucket. Mm, that is how it is done. Great teamwork. That's something you develop by practicing it over and over again. Pass to Simpkins. He kicks it to Kukoc. Down low. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Simpkins. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and the terrific court vision. Now, here's Livingston. He's covered closely. And here is Cousins. 20 points for him. Buries it down low. Jordan with it. Great tee that time from Green. Warriors leading by 14. The rebound by Simpkins. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Well, that's just stellar interior defense. You can't ask for anything more than that. Some changes for Chicago. Longley's checked in for Wennington, and it's Rodman in for Simpkins. Golden State also making some changes. Kevon Looney is checked in for Cousins. And Quinn Cook subbed in for Thompson. And it's the Warriors with the ball. 
to the inside. And easy two points on the layup. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Right, really a disappointing effort on the defensive end. Not offering any challenge at all at the cup. Right side, Rodman. Back to Jordan. Latrey, a three-pointer is right on target. Jordan's got 18 points just in the second half. I'll tell you, he's doing everything scoring-wise this period to try to keep them in it. Cook kicks to Green. Back to Cook. Pass to Iguodala. Over Kukoc. Hits the front of the rim and out. Bulls trail by 13. Inside. And the dunk by Jordan. And you know how that play's going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour, Hover Havoc. Back to Cook. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. And to me, that's all about the body control, right, Greg? I mean, he does such a stellar job sizing up his man and drains it despite having the size on him. And the Bulls making a change here. Harper's checked in, then for the Warriors. Yurebko's checked in for Draymond Green. Kevin Durant comes in for Andre Iguodala. And Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. The pass to Yurebko. Some nice passing by Golden State here. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Pippen's checked in for Kukoc. Bulls trail by 12. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Pulls up on the wing. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And so here is Golden State. Curry. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Durant's got his seventh assist in the game. Well, we know Steph Curry has a ton of fun on the court because he can score from virtually anywhere. But that floater is a must-have tool in the toolbox. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Taken away. And here we go with Cook heading to the hoop. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. The Warriors shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. First free throw is good. And so Cook nails both of them. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Outside Jordan. in time. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. What a three at the horn as they end the quarter. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. 13 points up at the end of the period. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates, Greg. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Long lay out there with Dennis Rodman. Then there's Harper. Then there's Pippen. And it's Jordan in at the two guard. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Duran against Pippen. Passes it to Longley. And it's in there. Boy, defender taken out of the play with a rock-solid screen. No way he's going to get through that. Curry against Harper. Pass to Looney. Curry looking around. Puts it up from 12. That one good for two. Curry's got 25 points. 
Boy, once Stephen Curry starts to cook, it's like an avalanche. The guy can score at will from anywhere. The call will go against Yurebko. That's his first foul. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Four on the clock. Harper the pass to Pippen. Launches it. Now this guy's got some grit and some determination. Is Kevin Durant capable on the offensive end? Yes, but the defense as spectacular. Last break. Here comes Chicago. Outside for Jordan. From outside, off the mark. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Here's Thompson. That one doesn't go. Rodman with the defensive effort. Jordan against Thompson. Bounce pass from Jordan. Harper's shot's good. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Pass to Looney. Trying to find Durant. He's got it now. Well, Kevin, the to-do list when you're trying to guard What's Kevin up? Durant is long, and he's used that added strength to power through contact. And the Warriors with some changes. Cousins comes in for Kevon Looney, and it's Green in for your Redco. To the middle, Green dishes to Durant. He makes his 10th basket of the night from the field. He has missed two shots from the floor. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Harper kicks to Jordan. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. From deep three-point range, from beyond the arc, and then some. Curry's got 28. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Really well done on that assist. He sees the target inside and puts it right into the hands. Thompson in the corner. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And that's 20 points for Clay Thompson. Bulls trail by 20. Here's Harper to the inside. Here's Jordan. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. And it goes on Draymond Green. Man, the body control and focus. I mean, Jordan able to draw the foul and still finish the basket. And a deep three from Curry. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Curry with the steal. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And as Rodman picks one up. You have to be careful around Kevin Durant because this guy loves to get fouled on the way up. He views free throws as easy points. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Warriors leading by 19. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early, and just one more will put them over the limit. Takes the 13-footer, and it's Chicago with the rebound. Rodman's got 11 rebounds in the game. Outside, Harper kicks it to Pippen. Harper the pass to Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Harper. Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. No good from Durant. Yeah, affecting the shot in a big way there. Excellent defense. Well, you talk about getting into the space of the shooter. This is how you defend the paint. 
Jordan kicks to Rodman. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. From 12 feet out. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Jordan's got 42 in the game. It's graceful. There's a level of dignity that Jordan has on the floor. Just so classy about everything he does. Here's Cousins. And then Cousins with the dunk. And gobbled up that rebound and went straight into attack mode on the putback. Oof. He is one of the most determined rebounders, guys, uh, we have got in the NBA. The tireless work ethic, the passion. He's a guy the team relies on for that. Green taking his time here. Great open look there. Now Harper. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And it goes on Draymond Green. Free throw good longly. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down. Both free throws good from Longley. Warriors leading by 19. Green finds Thompson. And here is Curry, covered by Long. Trills the three-pointer. 31 points for Steph Curry. Now this guy's trying to close this game out in style. He's not going to stop attacking until he's sure this win is in the books. Outside, Rodman. Jordan against Thompson. Baseline jumper. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got rebound number five here tonight. Outside for Durant. And there's the pass to Cousins. Six on the shot clock, but he recovers it. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Curry against Harper. Passes it to Longley. And it's Jordan that's out the key. Over Thompson. And the Bulls with another miss. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. And that's 23 points for Clay Thompson. And since halftime, they have been locked and loaded from beyond. Yeah, there's no question about it. Knocking down triples repeatedly. The defense starting to look helpless at this point. To halt the run. Trains it from beyond the arc. Harper's got five points in the quarter. And that was a, a real quick comeback there. Both sides showing some range. But both teams are pulling the trigger right now, showing great confidence from behind that arc. Duran against Pippen. The fader. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Buries it down low. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Curry kicks to Cousins. The 11-footer, and it's Golden State with another. And the Bulls with possession. Pass to Pippen. Now Rodman. Here's Jordan. Pass to Longley. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Boy, nice team basketball being played right there. You see the open man, and you deliver the ball right away. Here's Cousins, and he banks in the layup. Cousins has got 29. And just the rugged nature of Cousins getting into the body there offensively. Outside, Harper. Let's it go. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. Cousins has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And here is Harper. Here's Pippen. Great D that time from Durant. Now that's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. 
No, exactly, Greg, especially when the ball is that deep inside. You've got to respect how he altered that shot. Here's Curry with the three. Here's Cousins, and the layup's good off the glass. Cousins has got 31. He is just a monster on the boards. And with those soft hands Cousins has, he's going to turn those offensive rebounds into putbacks almost every time. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan's got 44. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Curry kicks to Cousins. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter. Five to shoot. Here's Durant. Again, Golden State. He does not need a lot of breathing room. Kevin Durant, this is simply how good a shooter he is. Harper the pass to Rodman. Jordan against Thompson. Jordan dishes to Rodman. Pippen kicks to Harper. Back to Pippen. And there's the pass to Harper. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. How good is that pass? Certainly makes the offensive opportunity easy. Thompson finds Cousins. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Out to Thompson. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Running up the score, showing no mercy. At this point, they're completely overwhelming them. The opposition looks totally defeated. Outside Pippen, beyond the arc, another three for Chicago. And finally finding a rhythm, but unfortunately a little too late. Well, you wonder if they can use the momentum they've built here into the next game because this one looks over. Here's Curry. It's all in by the Bulls. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Harper the pass to Jordan. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the Bulls now. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't.